Okay, so with part B, um, first of all, I'll call it y equals, okay, so we can differentiate it effectively, but we, we need to recognize you can't differentiate it when you've got x terms on the bottom, okay, you need to get them to the top, okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Remember, when you've got x terms on the bottom, you can bring them to the top, the power just becomes a minus then, so in this case, that'll be x to the minus 2. Here, the power here. Well, the power of the square root is a half, isn't it? So that's x power half, but when you bring it up, it becomes x power minus a half. And this one is fine as it is, isn't it? Because it's already on the top. So when you do then dy by dx, okay, you rules, of course, you bring the power down. So when you bring that power down, it's, it's a minus 2, yeah? So don't forget to bring the minus 2 down. You know, it's not just bringing the 2 down. It, the number is minus 2, isn't it? So bring the minus 2 down times it by the 3, that becomes minus 6. Okay, so we need that minus in front there. x then, now remember you've got to take away 1 from that power, so it becomes minus 3. Same then with this power, bring it down, it becomes a minus half. x then, with well, that power then, you've got to take 1 away from it, yeah? When you take 1 away from minus half, you get minus 3 over 2. Here then, bring that 3 over 2 down, okay? And you get 3 over 2. Um, x then, and when you take away 1 from that, you get a half, okay? So we've effectively differentiated every term, right? We've done our job. It might be good, it's good practice to actually write this then simplified in terms of, well, that's a minus power, isn't it? So you could take it actually back down there. So you've got minus 6 on the top here, but you could take that down and write it then as x cubed on the bottom, okay? And the same here with the next term, where well, this is a half, so with a half, 1 goes on the top, doesn't it? and 2 goes on the bottom, okay? And then, of course, you've got this, then, x to the power 3 over 2 when you take it back down, okay, because it's a negative power. And this, at the end, well, it's positive, so we can leave it like that, right? So 3 over 2. And actually, you might recognize as well, because it, it's power half, you might want to write it as square root of x there, yeah, okay? So um, we've written it in a simplified form as well, which is really good practice, okay?